I grew up in Ottawa, born and raised in the Glebe. I played piano, active reader. I was on every sports team as a little kid all throughout elementary school. So by the time I was 12, 13, um, my anxiety just started to get worse. Um, panic attacks started. Um, I also started experiencing depression and this was about the first time I started self-harming. Feeling anxious is personally one of the worst feelings in the world. It's constantly worrying. It's never feeling good enough. My heart goes a mile a minute. Um, I can't breathe. It started to become hard for me to get out of bed in the morning. Maybe the sadness is a, a little more than what I'm thinking. It was my senior year of high school. Uh, everyone around me was talking about plans for their future, uh, applying to university, waiting for acceptances, having these goals and dreams. So one day I woke up in the morning, I took a bunch of pills, sat on my bathroom floor holding a knife, saw a text from a friend, saying I'll see you at school in a few hours so I put the knife down I went to school I spent my first two periods of that day in the bathroom throwing up having a fever feeling sick uh everyone just thought I was ill so I thought you know Holly you tried you're still here your friend wanted to see you everything would be okay but then two weeks later I ended up doing the same thing and then that morning I ended up having a fight with my stepmom. I called a hotline three times, hung up twice refusing to talk to someone, then came home, thought I was okay, opened a drawer to get cutlery because I was going to make myself food, and I saw a bottle of pills there and it kind of just went, is telling you you should do it, Holly. The signs are here, no one needs you here. I took more pills this time, so I ended up calling a friend and just saying, I think I've made a mistake, but I don't know. So I was referred to the Royal in December of 2019 from Chio after I attempted suicide. It was kind of this daunting building that I knew the second I walked into, it was going to be addressing the things I had tried to push down for so many years. Coming to the Royal did give me hope. So today, I'm in a position that as a kid, I never thought I'd be in. If someone said I'd be living away from home, going to university, if someone said I'd be able to speak in front of people in any way, shape or form, I wouldn't have believed it. It was never something I thought I'd be able to do with my anxiety. With my depression as well, I canceled so many plans to the point where I no longer got invited. I'm able to go out and live instead of just kind of trying to survive day to day. I want to do my best to be there for my friends more, to hang out with people more, to really live and experience all the things life has to offer. I was back home in Ottawa for a little while and I was in the kitchen with my mom just doing random jobs and she randomly stopped and turned to me and said, I think this is the happiest I've ever seen you. And it was that just one word, uh, one sentence can be said sometimes and I know things are gonna be okay.